So let me know if this sounds familiar. You haven't worked out in six months or a year or three years or ever, and all of a sudden you get the motivation to do it. You find a class or you're recommended a boot camp by a friend. You get super excited, all right, I'm finally gonna do it, I'm finally gonna change my life. You got your clothes, you got your yoga mat, you got your bottle of water, you go, you're super excited, and you either get injured, probably in your shoulder, your lower back, or your knee, or you're so sore after it that you don't work out for another three weeks, and that turns into another six months, another year, another three years, or ever. And this cycle of never being able to catch a rhythm, never getting a consistent routine, just continues and continues. What's up everyone, welcome back. If you identified with that story, you're not alone. In fact, you're like most people. The only real trick to health and fitness is consistency. But unfortunately, we kind of view it as this thing where it has to be super intense and extreme. And a lot of that has to do with what the fitness influencers are showing and what the industry is trying to push which is this idea that every workout has to be super extreme. You're gonna have cinematic cameras. You know, you're doing it as synchronized with a partner who's also 2% body fat. You got the amazing music playing. It's lit beautifully. And all of your exercises are NFL or UFC strength and conditioning routines. And the goal of these routines is to be completely shredded and have superhuman strength. Now there's absolutely nothing wrong with any of those things, except for the fact that most people either aren't looking for that or literally don't have the time, energy, and resources to put into obtaining that. So where does that leave everyone else? In most cases, they just don't do it at all. Well, if that's what working out is, I can't do that, so I'm just not even gonna attempt it. This crazy, unrealistic expectation is the same thing that drives people who've never worked out or haven't worked out in a long time to take these really intense boot camps uh, where there's just blaring music and somebody yelling at you to push harder even though they can't see you and aren't paying attention to your form to make sure you're not going to get hurt. And it's also pushing this idea that the purpose of working out is purely to post on Instagram. So the actual ideas of health and fitness are out of the window. It's just flexing on Instagram. It's all about sex. It's all about selling a bullshit fit tee or waist trainer or app or clothing line and not about actually feeling good about yourself and being physically capable and sound in everyday life. The truth is we all need everyday fitness. It's fine to push super hard and do really extreme workouts, totally fine. Most people aren't gonna wanna do that though. The percentage of people who do those workouts is relatively small, yet that makes up the mass majority of what you're being shown. So people's concept of working out is I have to be completely drenched in sweat and basically dying after a workout to feel like I actually did anything. And this is not true. The benefits of working out go far beyond what you see in the mirror, even though that's valid. Having a consistent workout routine means that you accomplish something every single day. So many of us have jobs or lifestyles where we feel that we're not doing anything. We're not achieving anything. We're not accomplishing any goal. So if a daily fitness regimen is part of your routine, no matter what, you're accomplishing a thing. You have a goal, I'm gonna work out for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, whatever it is, and then you do that thing. So whether or not you get anything else done during the day, whether or not you feel passionate about your job or your career, you at least accomplish something you said you were gonna do. And that something is entirely selfish. It just makes you a better person. It makes you stronger, it makes you healthier, it makes you happier. I've struggled with depression and anxiety my entire life. When I don't work out, I am noticeably in worse condition than when I do. Everything being equal, my situation being exactly the same, when I work out, I at least feel that I accomplished a goal. And that goal is bringing me closer to the person I wanna be. And it's taken me years to understand that my workouts don't have to be the most intense and the most aggressive things ever. I can have a workout that's five sets of 25 jumping jacks, 50 push-ups, 50 squats, 50 crunches, and that can be it. And maybe the next day I do a really intense battle rope workout or I hit the bag for hours and I just feel like I'm breathing smoke. Or maybe I go a few months and I don't do that at all. I just have those nice consistent workouts. Because one intense workout, one boot camp doesn't mean anything. One workout will not solve whatever it is you're looking to solve. It will not make you healthy. It will not make you strong. It will not make you fit. It will not change your appearance. It's not one workout. It's a hundred workouts. It's not one salad. It's a hundred salads. The point is small, healthy choices repeated daily. 
And by taking those smaller steps, you're actually able to go a longer distance. You don't burn out. The risk of injury is way lower. Your self-esteem and motivation become something that moves along with you. It's not constantly out of reach or something you left behind days or weeks or months or years ago. It's all a cumulative effort. Small healthy choices repeated daily over time. So if your story is similar to the story in the beginning of the video, that it's been six months, a year, five years, forever since you've worked out, invest in a group class or one-on-one -on -one sessions with a trainer who understands the importance of consistency and longevity and will actually set you up to succeed and fulfill those goals. You don't need cinematic camera work. You don't need 2% body fat. You don't need a workout where you're balancing on one leg on a ball while doing squats with a 200 pound barbell. Simple and effective workouts, simple and effective nutrition, simple and effective choices repeated daily to achieve what you want. If that resonated with you and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the new videos. Thanks for watching. Be well, do good, make healthy choices. Peace.